Take yeah, throw in the chat. Let me know where you're where you're coming in from. We're where in Tennessee. You know, I don't know if you knew this. Kathy, scattered, actually. Just... So it's what? not all just Tennessee. Oh, it is. OK. T yeah, tell me so more. this is our freedom team group that's led by oh, oh, the leader yeah. of our group is Mr. Sean Sturrock um, in my top corner over here. And so yeah, thank you for coming. Um, this is our freedom team you, brother. Thank you. all over. Yeah. See, we got yeah. Kevin in Southern California. Yeah, put in there for Nolly where you're from. Yeah, that's so it's around, amazing. Please, we say? I forget Where'd about the power of EXP. I don't know why I forget that's about right. that. But we're we, you know, we're we're able to have it's so cool. You know, I'm in Puerto Rico today and I'm able to teach a class to folks all over the place. So this is so 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 in fact, I just got back from the beach. So um my well, wife and I stopped to somewhere. Beach to go to the beach in Puerto Rico. What's that? You got back from the beach to go to the beach in Puerto That's Rico. That's how it goes. That's how it is. <laughs> All right, let's see who we got in the house. We got Southern California in the house. That's Kevin. We got uh, Beth coming in from Kentucky. Uh, Michael, Louisville, Kentucky. Nice. Dallas is in the house with Sean. And then we've got Manchester, New Orleans, uh, Bowling Green, Kentucky, uh, Houston, and more and more. So there's a lot of you guys streaming in as well. So uh, Northwest Montana. Look at the power of um, of our model. You know, I yeah. I used to, and I'm back. I'm getting ready to start traveling again. But I used to have to travel all over the place um, to speak. You know, live, and I still will be doing that. But with the power of EXP, we can we can just do it this way. So, all right, Kathy, I'm going to mute myself so I don't. Okay. Uh, <laughs> well, welcome everybody. Um, we are excited you're here. I'm really excited for today's guest. As um, you see, he's got a lot of energy, a lot of charisma, Mr. Nolly Williams. And, you know, just a little bit about him. So Nolly's been an entrepreneur for the last 40 years. He's built multiple six and seven figure income um, business, or businesses. Uh, and it, he made its first million by the time he was 29. OK, like who wants to learn from somebody like that? Right. That was his first million. All right. Um, in his 30s, he got um, he was in real estate and uh, he sold a thousand homes his first 10 years. Uh, in his first 74 days of real estate, he had 21 listings. So or 27 listings. Sorry, 27 listings. So we're he's going to be teaching you all about how to get listings as a new realtor in his first 74 days. He had 27 listings like hello. Um, so Nolly is um, a best-selling author. We're going to talk uh, just a minute about his new book that he's got coming out or that's out um, at the very end of this. And uh, and he's just, you know, a very, um, a very desired public speaker nationally. So for us to be able to have him here today and to teach um, us about getting more listings, you already heard what he did in his first 74 days of business. So um so I'm excited to have you, Nolly, and I'm just going to turn it over to you, buddy. Thank you. Thank you, Kathy. And thank you guys for letting me be here. Freedom team is in the house. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm super excited to be able to hijack y'all's meeting <laughs> and have a lot of fun today. And it's really going to be all about how do we get more listings. Before I jump in, though, I, I see more people are um, in the chat here talking about where you're from. Paige, Northwest Montana is in the house. Samantha from Los Angeles. We've got... Um, Paul from uh oh, I, you 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 did want me to try to pronounce that, didn't you, Paul? Snoqualmie, uh, Snoqualmie, Snoqualmie, Snoqualmie Valley. Did I do okay with that? Yep, Snoqualmie. I, I can I can mimic okay, but it, you know, thank you for the help. Uh, you should see people trying to pronounce my name for the first time when they just see it. Uh, we got uh, Kate from Boulder, Colorado. We got Colorado Springs in the house. I'm telling you, we have we have uh, agents from all over and. We're going to have a great time together. Let me, uh, now this material, I like to do a uh, seminar. I, I like to go around the country doing seminars, and it usually takes me about three hours to do a seminar. So we've got about an hour today. Okay, I'm not going to, Uncle Nolly will not keep you over. Um, so we're going to pack a lot of information into a short amount of time, but you're going to be able to get it because this is the rock star group, and you guys are going to do great. I see a couple more uh, representing. We got... Uh, uh, we've got Deptford, New Jersey in the house. Okay, cool. All right. So I'm telling you, you guys are from high and low and everywhere. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to share my screen because I like to do slides. Um, they just kind of keep me on point and they help you as a visual aid. So what we're going to talk about, and by the way, Kathy, it was 21 listings that I took in my oh, first Oh, it was 21. Day. Okay. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. so uh, I don't know if that was a typo or what, but yeah. So I'm going to, I'm going to share with you guys how I did it. Um, 
There is not going to be any scarcity, no lack. We are creators. We come from abundance. Okay. And if you have lack in your life, what happens is, and I, I teach I teach all my students this, you've got to get debt free as soon as you can. You know, I made my first million dollars when I was 29 years old. And by the time I was 33, okay, when I was 33 years old, I lost it all. So, you know, you can, you can, by the way, mute yourself if you're not um, speaking. I, I don't mind having a co somebody uh, co-hosting. I, I don't mind that at all. Because, you know, I love to have, uh, you know, uh, guest speakers while I'm a guest speaker. But, um, and, and by the way, you will have a chance to ask questions. So Uncle Nolly will build that in. But I just want to share with you that the life that you live doesn't come from lack. You know, um, what you have in your life, you look around at everything that you have. Okay. Just look around. You got a, you got your phone, you got your computer, your laptop there. Maybe you've got a home. Okay. You've got a car. You got uh, the, I'm talking about material things. Every material possession that you have was created from your imagination. It was created from your mind. Okay. So we're going to do some creation here. We are creative beings. The homo sapiens race is an energetic being. We are, we are made of energy. That's science. Okay. And we are, um, uh, scripture says we're beings of light and um we are as we've studied from from the the uh, medical field we understand that we're we are electrical beings we are electrical beings so if you don't like what you have in your life you have the ability to create it god created you in his image okay or in their image scripture says god created us in their image and that image is of a creator OK, so and you go back to Genesis when God created man, he created he created man in his likeness, which means the similitude. We are made in the similitude of God, which means we are a facsimile, a carbon copy of God. OK, you go and chew on that. That's all scripture. Um, and you can do a deep study on that. But the reality is you can create in this lifetime whatever it is that you desire. If you don't like what you have, just change it. OK, you start changing the way you think you start changing what you what shows up for you um, there. Oh, I, I do want to brag on my new book. It's the first book that I've had published on a major publisher, uh, McGraw Hill. This is my eighth book, guys. OK, eighth book. Uh, people ask me all the time, how do I how do I write a book? And then, well, you know, it's it's a, it's a process. It's not that hard once you do it a few times. But this is the first time I've had one uh, written with a major publisher. So. Make sure you get that. It just released less than a month ago. Uh, I hit on, uh, it's already a, a national bestseller. So it came in at number 26, uh, the top 100. And in this book, I'm going to teach you how to save time. We're not going to talk a lot about that today. The book is called Three Hours a Day. So I want to make sure that you grab a copy, um, write down the, the URL or hit the QR code, because um, you definitely want this in your arsenal if you want to save time. By the way, I'm going to share with you how to solve all the problems that you'll ever have in business. Does that sound aggressive? <laughs> Does that sound like a too good to be true agenda? Well, I am going to do that today. Uh, you've already heard my story. 96% of my focus has been on listings. I took a thousand listings my first 10 years in real estate, and now I'm dedicated to paying it forward. I have been an entrepreneur since the age of 12. Got any young entrepreneurs in the house? So those of you that started young, anybody out there? Huh? Okay, I see you. All right. Yeah, that, that was me. I started very young and I'm still at it. So, you know, 40 years later, I want to thank you for being here because there is a lot of places that you could be this morning and you chose to spend it with Uncle Nolly and your freedom team. So thank you for being here. So what are we going to learn today? Uh, I, told, I already told you I'm going to teach you how to solve every problem that you'll ever have in business. Okay, so write that down. Uncle Nolly is going to teach you that real quick. Um, we're going to talk about the three lead buckets where all the listing leads that you ever need will come from, okay? We are going to talk about the eight key sources for listing leads in today's market, this market right now. And by the way, we're not going to park there um, in the eight key sources because I have a video that I'm going to share with you that's 35, 40 minutes where I did for eXp University. I was able to share uh, all that information, okay? So because of our limited time, I'm not going to go down the rabbit hole on the eight key sources, okay? But I'll give you a resource where, where you'll be able to really dig into that. And then the five actions that you should take. And when should you take them? 
right now. You got it. This is a good group. I love it. To upgrade your success with listings, there's five actions to take right now. Did you know? Did you know that having success is about doing the right things in the right order? I run across a lot of agents that do the right things. They're doing all the right stuff, but they're doing it in the wrong order. And that does not lead to success. Um, I remember not too long ago when my wife and I moved to Puerto Rico, we decided we wanted to go tropical. We wanted to be beach bums. That's not what she would call it. Okay. But that's what I say. All right. I was on the beach this morning. I'm constantly working on my tan guys. <laughs> you know, you, you just got to know this when uncle Nolly is on the beach and my tan is popping. Okay. I'm usually not this dark, but I love it. And I'm out there, I'm out there soaking it in. And uh, uh, anyway, when we were coming to the island, there's a couple of things that we decided to ship because we knew we wouldn't get them here. And one of them was my infrared sauna. Okay. Now that thing is a beast. It's actually sitting right next to me uh, in this sort of space. We, we have like a healing room in our home. Oh, it's so beautiful. I look out this window. I can see the ocean. Okay. I look out that window. I can see the mountains. All right. And all the palm trees and all that beautiful weather. Um, they told me when I got here, not quite true, but close that it never gets below 72 degrees, never gets above 88. Okay. I like that. I said, sign me up. Let's go. And a lot of our uh, cousins and friends are here. Uh, you know, Brent Gove, uh, Gene Frederick, and, and a lot of, a lot of others. There's about 30 EXP families on the Island, maybe more than that now. Anyway. So when I was bringing my infrared sauna here, I tried pulling it apart. And what I was doing was I was doing it in the wrong order. I was like taking one piece and then the other. I was like, this got to gotta be pretty easy. It comes apart in like eight pieces. Okay. But 30 minutes into it, I, des I, I decided to break out the instructions. Okay. No matter what it is that you desire to do, there's a manual for it. There's a way to do it. There is a system for doing it. And if you're just trying to do this on your own, or you're grabbing a piece here and a piece there, you don't have the complete picture, that's a problem, okay? So once I got out the manual, it says you got to take this one apart first, then you do this one, this one, this one. It's all about doing the right things in the right order, and that's what gets you success. Now, remember that I also said that I was going to help you solve every single problem that you'll ever have in real estate? Let's do that now. The only two problems that you'll ever have in business as an entrepreneur is number one, you don't have enough money. That's a problem where you have maybe a, maybe you're in feast or famine. You have a great month. Things are popping. You're, 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 you know, you, you've got six closings or, or three closings, whatever that number is. And then you're dry for three months. That's feast or famine. Okay. That means your cash flow isn't steady. And that's, that's really a money problem. The way you solve the money problem is through, I'm going to tell you two things. Okay. Generate leads and go on appointments generate leads and go on appointments. If that's all you did in your business, you'd be rich. You know, when I studied the listing game, you know, you, you saw, you know, my last year in active production, I did 153 transactions as a solo agent. Um, by my fifth year in real estate, I was the number one solo agent in Austin, Texas out of 9,800 agents in our MLS. Uh, Austin Business Journal did the study as they do every year, and I came up number one. Uh, that year, I did 96 transactions through MLS, actually did over 100, but 96 of them ran through the MLS, and they were trackable, and that put me in the number one spot, yet I was working about three hours a day. And what I discovered was that there are 46 steps when it comes to a listing, 46 different steps. Step one, generate the lead. Step 40, close the transaction. And then there's six steps after closing. And there's a lot of steps in between. But there were only five steps in my state, Texas, that required a license. Let me say it again. There were only five steps that required a license. So I said, why am I going to do any of the others? And there were only two steps that actually produced income. Only two. And when I'm talking about income, I'm talking about generating a fret. It, 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 this is a whole conversation. We won't go down the rabbit hole for sake of time, but I have a lot of training on this where the, the, the reality is if you're not creating uh, fresh revenue for your business, 
then why are you doing it? You see, busyness does not equal business. I hope you know that. Now, let's talk about problem number two. I'm actually going to stop my slides for a minute. Problem number two. And problem number two is, um, hold on, I lost myself here on Zoom. I got too many windows open. Anybody ever do that? <laughs> you got a lot of windows open. Uh, so, the, so problem number two, the only problems that you'll ever have is you don't have enough money. Okay, that's, that's a cash flow problem. You solve that very easily with those two things I just mentioned. And the second problem that you'll have is time. You don't have enough time. You know, I was coaching a gal, uh, number one in her office uh, in Houston, over 420 some agents in her office. She's number one. Okay. Uh, very similar to my story. But the difference with her is I said, well, how much are you working? She said, I'm working all the time. I work 14, 16 hours a day. That's a time problem. She doesn't have a money problem. She makes, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, over uh, a million dollars a year in GCI. She has no problem. She's making a hundred thousand a month in, in, in income. Okay. And by the way, I figured out how to solve the money problem very early in life. I made my first million by the time I was 29, actually I was making $150,000 a month as a 29 year old. And I teach people all the time. If you want me to teach you how to be rich, I can do that real quick. Cause I've been rich a long time. I've been, I've, been, I've made, I've made my first million more than 20 years ago. And I've been making millions and millions of dollars since then. But what I've learned is that if you don't have all the other stuff that goes with it, you're just going to be a miserable millionaire. You're not going to have the true life that the Bible teaches and the true life that you truly desire and that you deserve. Okay. You're just going to be miserable because uh, you're just, you're, you're, you're going at it for the wrong reason. Okay. Now, second problem that you'll have is time. This is the problem she had time. She just didn't have enough time and you will understand in time, that's a pun, in time, you'll come to understand that time is actually worth more than money. It really is. Um, time does not equal money, as some would say. That's, that's completely false. Um, there is nothing that could equate time, okay? And when you look at those that are on their deathbed, let's talk about this for just a moment, okay? I'm way off topic. How did I get over here? I don't know how. There's somebody in the room. See, I, I, I operate in, see, I operate in the quantum field. That's my favorite topic to teach, quantum physics. Okay. We, you got to get in one of my quantum physics classes one day. I mean, that's where I really have fun. Um, and we, we are quantum beings. Okay. Qu quantum physics is the study of subatomic matter. Okay. It's, it's, you're, you're studying matter at the subatomic level. And that's what we are. We are quantum uh, uh, you know, we're quantum beings. So, um, anyway, I was going to go way down a route. I don't think I'm going to go down this rabbit hole. I'm, I'm, I feel myself pulling myself out of it. Right. Kathy, let's get, let's get on with the training because, but, but, but I do know that there's somebody in the room, whenever I go on a rabbit on a, on a, on a side road, there's somebody in the room that I'm sensing the energy is knowledge. You need to do, address this. You know, you need to address this. So the Holy Spirit will bring it back to me if it needs to be addressed. But what I just want you to understand is that every single thing that you have is what you created. That's what you created. Okay. And if you have a problem with time right now, the, the way you're going to solve that is you're going to, essentially, you're going to introduce leverage. That's what's going to solve your time problem. Okay. And you're going to have a couple of big picture priorities, not a lot. Okay. You're going to be focused, not, you're going to be focused on branding and leadership, branding and leadership. By the way, branding is when you've got to the point where you're like the freedom team, you got 3000 people in your organization. Okay. And you're at the, say the top of that organization. You're at the point now where your problem really isn't money. Your problem is time. How do you allocate your time in such a way? And uh, what I was, the side road I was going to take, I'm going to go ahead and take it. I just feel, I keep tugging, getting tugged on that. So the side road I'm going to take real quick is I'm going to tell you about what kind of regrets you're going to have on your deathbed. Okay. Anybody want to talk about your deathbed right now? <laughs> like, I, I didn't sign up for that. What kind of class is this? What, what is he, this guy doing? All right. Let's, let's watch the meter. Let's see if we start losing them. Hold on a second. Let me see how many people we got on. I'm just kidding. Stay with me. So there's a, a gal named Bronnie Ware. And she did a study, um, and it, it was basically, it became a book called The Five Regrets of the Dying. 
the five regrets of the dying. She worked in a job in a position that none of you would love to do. Okay, you say your job is hard. It's, it's, it's not easy. Well, she had a job that was not easy for, for most. Okay. What she did was she worked with people in her in their last 12 weeks of life. Maybe some had five weeks, four weeks, two weeks, a week. And she chronicled their regrets. Like, hey, you're going, you're on your way out. You got a week to live. What do you regret? There were five. Okay, I'm going to mention the, the top two. We're not going to get into all of them because that's a whole nother uh, training, okay? Um, now you know why I have 900 videos on YouTube, okay? The, the, this Uncle Nolly has a lot of information to share. So the number one, can you guess what the number one uh, uh, regret was? The people on, that, are, that are like, if I could do it over, this is the one thing I would change. Here it was. I wish I'd had the courage to live a life that was true to myself not the life that others desired for me. And if you're living somebody else's life, you got to wake up today. And you got to look around and say, why in the world? What am I doing? Why am I even here? Oh, because mom wanted you to go to that college. Then as a result of that, you got that job, which put you in that city, which put you in, you know, like Jim Rohn says, you're not a tree. You can move. <laughs> if you don't like what you got, change it. All right. Now, guess what the number two regret was? I wish I hadn't worked so hard. I wish I had not worked so hard. And most of you, you want Uncle Nolly to come here and teach you how to work harder. That's not what Uncle Nolly's about. I'm about the three hours a day. That's what I'm about, baby. Because I don't want you on your deathbed with me in mind, talking about Uncle Nolly taught me all this other stuff to do. You know, the reality is, you can work a lot smarter than you're working. Okay. So we'll put it at that. We'll leave it at that. Let me get back. Um, let me get back on my, on my game here. So while well, I am on my game, Hey, anybody, if, if you think I'm on my game, throw it in the chat, give me a, give me an amen. I want to see it. All right. I, I see, I see the high fives. Okay. I appreciate that. Thank you guys. All right. So this is your dream life. I've, I've, I have, I had enough coaching clients to know that this is the life that you desire. You want to make a quarter million or more a year working 20 to 30 hours a week or less with nights and weekends off four to five vacations a year. And you want to be completely debt free. In the real estate realm, I only know of one way to do it. And that's listings. Did you know that listings is the game? You're still trying to figure out the real estate game or you want to, uh, you know, escalate it to a higher level. You, listings, that's the game. <laughs> that is the game. Okay. There's no other game. I don't know what game you might be playing, but listings is the only game. And I knew that coming into real estate. And that's the reason why, even though I had just had a home, you know, a home, one of my uh, properties went into default. I had a 6,000 square foot home on 10 acres uh, with a, uh, an office building on the property. We had a recording studio on the property. We had a pond on the property beautiful house, beautiful home in Round Rock, Texas, just outside Austin. I was in the music industry at that time and the music industry tanked. I didn't shift with the market and I got shifted out of the market. It's happening with a lot of real estate agents right now. They refuse to shift. And the truth of the matter is if you are focused, if you're listing centric, if you're focused on listings, that will never happen to you. What happened to me will never happen to you. I had to switch careers because I wasn't smart enough to change with my industry. Okay. Everything was going digital. Uncle Nolly wanted to keep it with CDs and cassettes. <laughs> you have to go with where your market is headed. Okay. There's not, no problem with that. So how do you even find listings? Let's talk about that. There are three lead buckets. And this is really refreshing because you don't have to go all over the place to look for your listing leads. If you look at all the thousand listings that I took, there might be, you know, 13, 14, 15 lead sources, but the reality is there are only three lead buckets. Okay. There's only three categories where all those listing leads came from. Let me demystify it real quick. It's your SOI, your farm and your niche. Okay. Your sphere of influence, your farm and your niche. And if you're not well, if you don't have the success that you desire in your business and you're not working, uh, you know, a short schedule, then you haven't really gotten to the point where you have mastered this. And it's not hard to master. I remember when I was eight months in the business and I was overwhelmed. Okay. Anybody ever been in overwhelm? 
Like you just, you're just totally overwhelmed. I see a few hands going up. Um, I was so overwhelmed and I was, I was doing it all. Okay. And I knew that something had to give. I was either going to collapse. I was going to have to start doing less production or I was going to have to, something was going to give, you know, I was pulling my hair out and I didn't have any. Okay. That's, that's bad. So what I did was I wrote down on a, on a yellow notepad, uh, every single thing that I did in the business. And later it became my system that I actually teach. Um, you know, many of you uh, have the, my book, this one right here, success with listings. It sort of became the blueprint, the master print of what I teach. But what I did was I wrote down every single thing that I did every day, generate leads, go on appointments, put up signs, key in, you know, key in the lockbox, put this, go on Supra, uh, key the listing in the MLS, meet with sellers, uh, negotiate contract. I mean, I, it went on and on and on. And there was actually 42 steps. And then what I did, okay, I want you to remember this because this is very important. You have the power to choose to live the kind of life you want to live. Uh, then what I did was I rated every single task on a scale of one to five. One means I hate it. <laughs> we don't even use that word in our household, the H-A-T-E word, but there's some things that I do hate. There's some things God hates. You know that? In scripture, it says there's, there's seven things that God hates, okay? So the point is that I said a one is I hate it, a two is I don't like it, a three means I like it, a four means I really like it, and five means I love it. That's the rating system. It's an Amazon system. It's the same one used by Yelp and, and others. Okay. It's very simple. And I decided right then and there, Paul, Michael, guess what I decided? Sean, Kathy, guess what I decided, Jeff? I decided right then and there that I was only ever going to do fours and fives. If it wasn't a four or a five, it wasn't on my plate. This was eight months into the business. Now, how was I going to do it? That doesn't matter. Write this down. The how doesn't matter. <laughs> you know, it's who, not how. You know, hopefully you've read that book, who, not how. The how doesn't matter. Okay, the universe has all kinds of ways to make it happen. I don't care how it's done. There is a way to make it happen, by the way, and I teach it. But the point is, it doesn't matter what method you use. You could use my method. You could use you know, Uncle Buck's method, you use Sean's, it doesn't matter. The point is that when you deter, I was, I was any, have you ever had to where you had a belly full? You're like, I'm done. I am not going to do, you know, that's where I was. Uncle Nolly was there. And it's like, like those old Westerns. It's like when they pick up, when, oh man, it, the guys tried real hard to go on the straight and narrow. It just didn't work for him. And he put his gun belt back on. It's done. You done. It's over. You already know how it's going to end. Okay. That's where I was. And I, I basically said, I'm only ever going to do fours and five. Didn't happen right away. Okay. It took me a year or two to get there, but I got there. Okay. And I never went back from there. This, the life that I live right now, I only really probably do fives. <laughs> in fact i wouldn't even do threes a three means i like it if i like doing something i'm not going to do it i have to either really like it or love it okay uh and so that's that's a really important lesson that somebody needed to learn that's not even part of our lesson today but somebody needed that all right so let's talk about this these three buckets your sphere of influence super easy to stay in touch with them there are all kinds of strategies out there um, i heard one the other day a 52 touch i think that's excessive but if you want to do that that's fine um, I use an, I've always used an 18 touch. It's a monthly e-newsletter, a quarterly mailing, like a postcard and a semi-annual call. Okay. You can automate all of this. Okay. To where you're not having to physically do it every month. Uh, so that's, that's what you would want to do on your SOI. If you're doing this, that's a bare minimum. Uh, you're, you're touching your SOI at least uh, every three weeks, every three weeks you're touching them. Okay. And by the way, um, only you only have to call your top 200. You don't have to call like 800 people or a thousand. All right. You just call your top 200. Uh, there's a very specific script that I recommend uh, when you call them. I'll give that to you. At the end, you're going to have a freebie. You're going to be able to get a free copy of one of my books, Triple My Listings, if you don't already have it. Uh, it's going to have all the scripts. It's going to have all the strategies spelled out because there's no way I could cram this into one hour. In fact, I wrote this book right here. Uh, those of you that have it know, uh, triple my listings. I wrote it for my rev share group after I got to EXP. 
because they were always like, Hey, I'm in my lead generation bunker. Like you tell me to do, what am I supposed to do? I'm like, ah, let me just spell it out for you. So I wrote a book called triple my listings, 27 marketing ideas for free seller leads free. That's my favorite four letter word. Okay. And so um, I, I wrote it just for my group. And then other EXP agents were like, can I get it? I'm like, no, nah, you ain't in my group. But then I learned it's one big fire, baby. So now I've opened it up and we sh I, I give it, you know, free copies to anybody that wants it. So, all right. So let's go to number two, your farm. I'm going to give you some quick pointers on farming. I've got a lot of videos on this, um, but I want you to make, make sure you're focusing on farming. Um, your farm should have a turn. Like, how do you know what's a good farm? It should have a turn of about 7%. So if there's a hundred homes of every hundred homes, seven sell. That means that your farm is turning over, you know, roughly, uh, I mean, every 10, 12 years, you know, the whole thing is turning over. Okay. Now you could have in this market, a, a farm of 5% um, and a good title escrow company will help you with this, help you calculate and figure out where, what farm you want to use. Uh, I'm going to show you how to farm for free in a moment. Cause I always, Farmed. All my strategies are, are what I call low to no cost. It's not because I'm cheap. <laughs> you know, I just don't like to spend money. All right. So I'm not cheap. Right. So now the other criteria for your farm, it should be nearby, it should be close by, because if you're farming and you've got to drive, you know, 50 minutes away or 40 minutes away to, to do something in that farm, it's not going to be so much fun for you. So it should be nearby. And then the price range should be commensurate with the, you know, price range of homes that you want to sell, you know, so you can, pro you can have them in the 500 to 800,000 range or 800 plus. Um, what I tell what I teach is that you try to, you know, start with, with a thousand houses. Okay. A thousand homes. Um, I hear people all the time. I tried farming. It didn't work. Well, I sold, I can't tell you how much I, I've gotten rich with this one strategy, but it's just because you're not doing it right. Okay. That's all I'm going to say about that. You know, you could do the same thing that you could try what Michael Jordan does, but you don't do it the right way he does it. You're not going to do it right. There's so much training on how to farm correctly. What you want to do, though, is you want to think about you're running for mayor of that area. That's the way your mindset should be. OK, so instead of having open houses, you now have events. You know, you've got two or three food trucks. You've got uh, maybe you're going to have a, um, a happy hour. That's only for the neighborhood, for the other neighbors, like not, not for the people that come to the, to the uh, open house, but you know, you're going to say, Hey, we're going to do it's from two to four, but we're going to have a pre open house just for the neighborhood or pre event. And it's going to be a happy hour. You got, you guys can check, you know, all the nosy neighbors want to look at the house anyway. So you invite them over, they get to check it out. They're having wine, maybe some cheese. You get a, a mortgage lender to, to sponsor all that. Um, and then you got, you have an event. Okay. Uh, you could have a local Chinese restaurant, bring a dish of their fate of, of their best dish. And you give out samples, you know, and you say, Hey, uh, would you mind doing a buy one, get one free coupon for the first 20 people to come to my event? In fact, I'm only going to give these to people that live in that neighborhood. And those houses are five to 500 to $800,000. They live within a mile of your restaurant. Okay. And how would you like all those people coming into your restaurant? I'll market you. And all you got to do is provide me a buy one, get one free for 20 people. Now you can go to the neighbors, knock on the door, say, hey, the first 20 people to get here, I'm going to buy you dinner. If dinner's on me. You give them a buy one, get one free. So there's a lot of ways that you could do this. Now, let's talk about how do you uh, mail out your postcards for free. You're going to go through the USPS, United States Postal Service, and you're going to use EDDM. EDDM, Every Door Direct Mail. Okay, those of you that have used it know that you can select neighborhoods and areas depending on what area you want to, uh, to, to farm. And it's about 20 cents per house to send out that mail piece. Okay, now think about this for a moment. If you mail out a thousand postcards at 20 cents each, it's $200. And then if you go to Got Print, which is my favorite printer. I've been using them since I was in the music industry. Great printer, uh, G-O-T-P-R-I-N-T, gotprint.com. Uh, it's going to cost you about 40 bucks for a thousand postcards, maybe less than that, maybe $25, $30. And so your total out-of-pocket cost is how much? Less than 250, right? 
Then you got four trades on the back of your postcard. Okay, we got a handyman. We've got maybe a roofer. We have a landscaping company and a house cleaner. And we go to those and we say, hey, how much do you charge to do a paint job again? Oh, 12,000 to paint one of these houses in this neighborhood? Oh, 15,000. Oh, for that neighborhood. Okay, great. Well, how would you like to piggyback on the back of my postcard that I mail out every month or every quarter, whatever your frequency is, uh, for $75? Okay, just imagine you got one paint job, you know, that would pay for the, for the next X number of years of being in, you know, one of my advertisers. You get four of them at 75 a piece. This is advertising, okay? Uh, it's $300 that you raised. It only cost you 250 okay? So you don't, farming doesn't have to cost you a dime ever, okay? And I've got a lot more information on that in the free book that we're going to give you. So don't get caught up on that. But just the whole point is it's easier than you think. Lastly, on the three buckets, I want to talk about your niche. I don't know if you guys say niche in Tennessee. I know in New York, they try to correct me. They say niche and all this kind of thing. I'm, I'm from Texas. I, I know I live in Puerto Rico. It's not much different, except the weather's better. Um, you know, we, we're kind of a little bit, uh, I, I, I can't say redneck because, I, you know, uh, I don't, you know, my neck is a little different than that. But we're a little bit different. Okay, we're a little bit um, maybe not as refined. Is that a better way to say it? Is that, is that good? Okay. So, so the whole thing is when it comes to uh, this whole thing, this niche, you got to have one. No, and notice I didn't say you have to have one. That's, that's, per, that's correct grammar. I say, you got to have one. <laughs> you got a niche to get rich. Okay. So what is your specialty? There is a reason that a cardiologist makes 153,000 to 156 thousand dollars more per year than a general practitioner because guess why because if i want to get a physical and my doctor's not available i don't care who i get, get a physical from i go anywhere okay but if i have some heart issues coming up oh you saw something on my ekg well hold on a second i gotta go see a specialist see there's three things that set you apart when you start to specialize you're sought out you're in demand and you're relevant okay so you, you have to have a niche. And if you've got all three of these rocking, now you've got a really rocking listing business. You may have asked yourself before, well, how in the world are these people getting 10 listings a month or six listings a month? Well, here's how we do it, okay? If I wanna get six listings that month, three are gonna come from my SOI, two from my farm, one from my niche. If I want 10, I've got five from my SOI, three from my farm and two from my niche. Right. So I've got all these buckets open and those faucets are are on and those list those leads are coming to me. Now, if you really want to get into this um, and geek out on it, I wrote a book that I taught told you about earlier. You can get a free copy, uh, triple my listings.com. Okay. Uh, there's other stuff that you can go through as you go through, you can pay for. You don't have to. If you're like, Uncle Nolly, I'm good. I just want your free book. Just get the free book. Don't buy anything else. Okay. Um, but I do have like an audio series, 17 lessons for 17 bucks, something like that. And then I have a five hour video series. How, how many of you guys are like, I, I want more? Raise your hand if you want more. Okay. So if you're that person that says, I want more, I've got a five hour video series. It's like me sitting down with you for five hours. You don't want to know what that's going to cost either because it's, it's, it's pricey. Okay. My coaching is 1500 an hour. Um, but that's where you can basically get me for five hours. It's 97 bucks, two payments of 97. So if you want that, you'll see the option for them as you're going through that funnel. But if you don't just skip, go, just get, just get your free book. Okay. Get out of there. Um, and so uh, I have a lot of resources that I, that I make available. So uh, let's talk about, uh, oh, and this is what I was going to tell you. So if you go through there, you got the audio course, $17 video course. Uh, and then I have an overnight celebrity success toolkit. That is phenomenal. We don't even have time to talk about all this stuff, but if you don't need any of this, you know, you don't need any more training, you're good. Don't worry about it. If you feel like you need it, grab it. Cause that's the only place you can get it is when you get the book. And then there's, a, there's a couple of, we call them upsells. Okay. Those of anybody like doing funnels. How many of y'all like building funnels and marketing and stuff? Any, any marketing masters? I don't see any hands. Anybody that's old school marketing branding, nobody, 
Okay, that's my game. I love marketing and branding. I really love uh, helping you succeed at a high level. So um, now let's talk about these eight listing sources. I'm not going to even talk about these in detail because I want to leave Q&A time. And I've got a whole training. Kathy's going to make sure you get a copy of this after the class. Don't worry about it. I'm going to get the link to her. She'll get it to you. But these are eight listing sources for today's market. Number one, trial listing. You don't know about the trial listing strategy. You got to know about it. It's fire. I was going to say it's bomb, but you know, I'm like 52 years. Oh, I'm 53 now. And I'm still, you, I'm still, I still think I'm in my twenties. Okay. Pre NODs. That's a huge one that you want to learn about. Not NODs, but pre NODs, old expireds, people that expired before the pandemic or took it off during the pandemic, never put it back on. Uh, your SOI. That's another big source uh, right now with the right script. You can, you can work that. Uh, probate is another one. I love probate, by the way. Uh, divorce, circle prospecting, and of course, off the market listings. Uh, I'm going to teach you how to do all of these in that free YouTube video. How much is it? Free. That's right. You got it. You guys are catching on. Uh, for EXP University, they asked me to come and teach this. And by the way, I don't know if you knew this, Kathy, but I, I got the EXP University Instructor of the Year for 2023. I'm so excited about that. Uh, it's so exciting to be able to, to, to give back and share and help our agents and EXP rewards us for doing it. So the, the brighter my agents get, the better they get at this stuff, you know, the more time I get to spend on the beach. So it's, it's just, it's just a win-win. All right. So let's talk about these five actions. I'm going to go through these rather quickly, and then we're going to open up the mic for Q and A. So let's talk about five actions that you should take right now to upgrade your success with listings. Number one. We talked about it a little bit. You have to shift your mindset. My favorite book for this is this one right here. Um, this is my favorite book for shifting your mindset. It's called The Power of Your Subconscious Mind by Dr. Joseph Murphy. Now you can get this book uh, on Audible um, or you can get the print or do both. Okay, this is gonna help rewire. See, when you start to rewire the way you think, um, you start to get the, the results that you really want. Your brain has neuroplasticity. We didn't know this until about 150 years ago. Uh, before 150 years ago, we thought that the brain was, the brain you came in was, was the brain you left the earth with. And that's not at all true. During your lifetime, you can actually completely rewire your mind. And Dr. Joe Dispenza has done numerous scientific studies on this. And there are so many studies in the realm of quantum physics uh, around this that it is mind boggling. That's a pun, I guess, but it's mind boggling what you can do when you upgrade your mind. And the reason why you have what you have in your life is because you have been programmed to have what you have. There's no other reason, okay? The reason my computer, my MacBook Air that I'm running this off of right now has the software that it has in it is because that's the software I put in it. That's what I programmed it to have. That's what the manufacturer programmed it. But did you know that I could actually take this apart? I can download different software, delete software, and then I could actually reconfigure my computer if I knew how, and I would change the results that I'm getting. So, so that's, that's number one. Um, number two is you've got to do the two. What does that mean? That means your two big picture priorities is going to be lead generation and appointments if you want to really dominate the listing game, okay, eventually you can have someone that does that for you. That's, you know, three hours a day that that's the blueprint for that. That book is what you'll need for that. But in the beginning, you know, my book, three hours a day is really not for everybody, because if you're not getting, if you're not at a point where you already have a level of success, then, you know, it, it's really for, for those that, that want to solve the time problem. Okay. The money problem, if you do the two, that means you're two hours a day, you're doing lead generation four days a week, okay? And what do you do when you get in your lead generation bunker? Well, you've got your book right in front of you, Triple My Listings. Just turn to a page and do, and by the way, there's 27 ideas here. You only have to focus on four or five. You don't have to do them all. Um, I just do, I just put a lot of them because there's different personality profiles. So some strategies appeal to different people. Number three, focus on listings. That's the only game, okay? 
All right. If you know, if you control the inventory, you control the game, you own the game board. Okay. So you gotta, you gotta do that. Number four, we don't even have the time. I could, I could teach on this for four days straight. You have to become famous. Okay. This whole idea about uh, being shy and introverted. You know, I'm, I was the shyest kid in school. I was an introvert. Didn't make me a lot of money. Okay. I learned when I was 12 years old and I had, I was selling candy in school. Being shy did not sell my candy. Okay. I get to get, 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 I had to get it sold. And I, and I learned that people, everybody needed to know where to get the supply. Uncle Nolly had it back then. It was Lil Nolly had it. Okay. And they came to me. And so everyone in your market, you don't have to be world famous. You don't have to be famous in your state or even in your city, but you should be known in the markets that you serve. Okay. I have an overnight celebrity success toolkit. That's actually no cost to you where you become like a famous person overnight uh, with your own book and all kinds of other stuff. But the point is, it doesn't matter how you do it. You've got to do this. Okay. Because this is the door that when you become well-known in your market, everything else becomes easy. It's like you just have the easy button all of a sudden. You stop struggling. You know, most agents that I've coached, I got I just got to throw this in. All they did was they got out of the rat race and onto the hamster wheel, okay? They thought, oh, I'm going to have a job. I'm going to have all this freedom. That's what we're, the freedom team, right? I'm going to have all this freedom when I quit my job and go, you know, work for myself. But now they just own a job. They don't own a business. They own a job. And when you become known, the business starts to come to you. Very important. And number five, last but not least, and probably most important, is you should lead generate according to your personality profile. You know, you take the disc. It's free to take. If you go to 123test.com, don't take the wrong one. There's like 17 tests on that site. And it's a, it's, it's a site run by a university, so, it's, so they don't charge. Um, but look for the... Disc personality profile. There's other ones, but learn learn yourself, study yourself. Okay, who was it? Socrates: the unexamined life is not worth living. Uh, Plato, or one of, one of those one of those guys, those philosophers came up with that. And I, I agree, you should examine yourself. You should know who you are, and you should lead generate according to you. Okay. Now, uh, what did we learn? We talked about the three lead buckets, where all the listing leads that you'll ever need are going to come from. We talked a little bit about those eight key sources. You're going to have an after-class assignment for that. And then the five actions to take right now to upgrade your listings today. And some of you guys might be feeling like this right now. <laughs> you know, I got a picture here of a little girl with her just being sprayed with the water hose. It's like, whoa, Uncle Nolly gave us a lot of information. Um, it's all, everything that I gave you is stuff you already know. What I'm here to do is to remind you, okay? Because I know that your leaders are telling you this stuff all the time. Okay, you just got a different face, a different hat telling you what you what you already know. Um, I, you know, subscribe to my YouTube channel. We just hit 7,000 subscribers, so I'm celebrating that. Um, if you want a lot, if you want to geek out on a lot of the things that, uh, if you didn't love what I had to say today, please don't subscribe. Because <laughs> it's just going to be more of what I talked about, like more of mindset and all this and, and how to get rich. Some people want to stay broke. Okay. I tried broke. I didn't like it. <laughs> I prefer rich. It, it's, it's much better for me. So, um, you know, make sure uh, that you also, we, we, you can go to this site, Nolly, actually you just go to Nolly.com. Everything's there. But if you go to Nolly.com slash more, there'll be some free goodies for you there that are um, just additional training, you know, because I don't think you can learn too much. Kathy, I'm going to turn it over to you. Um, thank you so much for having me here. Um, again, what I teach, you see it right there and make sure you get that latest book as well. So Kathy, what's up? That was we got so any questions? good, Nolly. Thank that you. Good? That was so thank good. You. I mean, all those tips um, that you focused on, you know, one question I have, and then I want to open it up for questions is I've noticed in your sources, you don't have for sale by owners. Is there a reason for that? I have it in my book in, in here. Okay. This book. But the eight eight lead sources for today's market, I just tried to think of what are the hot eight yeah. that, that you can start doing right now. But Fizbo's is huge. And yeah. um, and ex expires in Fizbo's will come in and out of season. Yep. 
You see what I'm saying? So there's there's yeah. seasons when Fizbo's feel like they don't need us at all. And there's other seasons they're like, hey, I need your help, you know? Yeah. Um, and there's yeah. and, and now's the time they're starting to feel that for sure, you know, Correct. with the Correct. market shifting. Correct. That was excellent. Um, so guys, who has a question for Nolly? We've got about eight minutes left here. So who has a question? Somebody said phenomenal. Oh, I like that. Oh, hold on a second. Phenomenal training. So glad I joined. Thank you. Thank you. That's yeah. Christine. Thank you, Christine. I appreciate that. Um, Tracy got, got fire, fire um, memes in there. Uh -huh. yeah, um, it was absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for your time, your energy. We absolutely love the information. I mean, I got some stuff I could just run with today. I really love it. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, yeah. thank you. Thank you, Tracy. And that, Tracy brings up a good point because if you've got like, there's a point where you get full, right? And you're like, look, I don't want no more training. I don't want, I just want to, I just want to marinate on this. So if that's, if that's you, you know, maybe grab a book or so, but just, you know, go back and listen to this again. We recorded it. Yep. Um, and, and, and you will be successful if you follow what I shared here. Thank you, Tracy, for that. And we'll have the reporting up in the freedom team. Um, later today or the morning at the latest. Somebody just um, asked a question, um, I just lost it, um, about where they could join the quantum physics. Uh, I saw that, yeah, 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 yeah. So so quantum physics is something that I weave into all my training. Um, I don't have anything where I just teach quantum physics, although I am working on that. Um, I've been studying quantum physics since I was 12, 12, 13. I didn't know at the time that that's what I was studying. Um, but, but yeah, you, it basically, and, and the best quantum physics book that I've found is, is the Bible. The Bible is basically a quantum book. Okay. Quantum physics book. Um, but yeah, it's, it's intertwined, um, into all my training, but you have inspired me that maybe I'll just do a series all about like intro to quantum physics type thing. I think yeah, that's great. I love that. Does anybody have any specific questions about any of the Ooh, somebody things? Somebody said life changing. Oh, I like seeing that. Look what Samantha said. Oh, she life changing. She said it was life changing. That I, mm -hmm. I that's what I'm that's what it's all about. And my goal is that, you know, you, hopefully you you have a few restless nights until you do something. Yeah. You know, preacher preached a sermon this past Sunday and I had a little bit restlessness there. I was like, "Hold on a second. I I need to I I could do more. I could I could you know, it opened up my consciousness in, in areas. So I, I appreciate that, Samantha. Good. Go ahead. Kate, Samantha. did you have a question? Did you have your hand up? I did. Yeah. Thank you so much for that. Um, my question is, if you were to stab a niche for or give someone some pointers on how to stab a good niche. What would it be? Yeah, um, it's got to be it's got to be something that fits with your personality. Think about, uh, oh, now you, you're trying to say niche. Look at her. Hold on a second. What, she, niche? <laughs> niche? Maybe it's no, niche. I say niche. I, you know, that's the Texas thing. But it's all good. We, we could say niche. Kate, Kate wants me to say niche. Um, so so remember I told you there's people like that? Remember I told you, Kathy? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <Kate>. <laughs> so, the, the, truth, the truth of it is, Kate, what you want to do is you want to pick something that you're going to love doing. Okay. So there's people that don't like dealing with people. Have you ever been in real estate where you're like, man, this would be so much fun if I didn't have to deal with clients. <laughs> I remember in the music business, we were always like, this would be so fun if we didn't have to deal with artists. So there are areas of real estate where like probate, for example, if you don't really like people, I'm not going to say that in a bad way. You're an SC or a CS profile. You don't really get a, get a lot of energy around being around people. It drains your energy. It's, it, you know, then you, you could go into probate. And that's where you're actually dealing with someone who is deceased. I mean, you're dealing with the estate. And usually the kids, all they want to do is liquidate. They, they just want it sold. So it's not emotional. You're, you're not into the emotional thing. On the other hand, if you're the type that loves to hold hands, you're like a marriage counselor, you like doing, then divorce might be good for you. You know, it doesn't really matter. The point is, it's got to be something that is, um, that connects with who you are as a person. By the way, there's so many different kind of niches um, in my in, in 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 one of my books. I, I list like 42 different ones, but the reality or 40 something different ones. But the reality is there's more than that. Um, I've got a, some friends of mine, Deidre. She has uh, the church lady uh, dot com uh, and it's two of them. They sell churches. That's their niche. I got another buddy, Stuart Sutton. He has one acre plus dot com, the number one acre plus dot com. And he sells homes on one or more acres. I mean, it doesn't matter. It's, it's whatever 
you, you decide that you want to do, and I have a lot of training on how to pick a niche uh, on my YouTube channel. So go out there and look at that, but it, it should be something that you won't get tired of doing. You know, don't pick something. Oh, I think that's hot. No, it's got to be something you love. Yeah. Very important. That's good. I agree. Thanks for that. It's something you love. You know, and, and Nolly's mentioned his YouTube a couple of times. You know, that's how we can, one way that we can pay him back is give him some love and subscribe and watch yeah, some of his videos on there and, uh, and order his latest book, his, uh, yeah. his three hour work work day who doesn't yeah. uh who doesn't want right to get to yeah. that lifestyle for sure and i've been applying through. this for over a decade and this yeah. this is powerful very powerful That's, yes i've got mine on order i've been waiting on it for a minute it it uh, was a little, a little slow on amazon for some reason even though i'm well, prime they it's sold done. out the day it came out they oh still, there you go out. that's why it and says it's coming the tw i ordered like two weeks ago so. i know it's terrible it's terrible but look at this That's guy here my man, Frank Kenny from Los Angeles. Okay. You can't, you can't really read that. Cause it's, he says, well, he says, damn, I can't stop reading it. Great book and advice. So this is, this is really a life changing. My goal with every book that I write is to, is to change your life and the trajectory of your life. So when you look back, you're like, this was a pivotal moment that allowed me to have more time with my kids. I'm not missing any graduations. I'm spending life the way I like it. I'm going on a European vacation. Uh, it's just a different kind, a different way of living that most entrepreneurs don't know is a, is possible. And it gives you the three freedoms. I'll say this real quick. There are three freedoms that you're after. Number one, you want to have financial freedom. Okay. You got to have it. All right. Number two, you want to have location freedom, be able to work anywhere in the world that you choose to work. And number three, time freedom. And you can have a lucrative real estate business and have all three freedoms. Yeah, love that. So we've got a couple of minutes left. Um, what the, what's the name of the book on the mindset change? Patricia um, Ann asked. Um, it's called The Power of Your Subconscious Mind. That's a primer. That's like if you really want to start getting into mindset from like 101 without necessarily necessarily going down the rabbit hole that Uncle Nolly's gone down. Um, I, you know, when I was I'm a reader. Readers are leaders. Okay. Mm -hmm. When I was in fifth grade, I was reading on a sophomore college level. Okay. Wasn't because I was smart or smarter than anybody else is because I was, as a kid, I was abused. I was an abused kid. I was beaten. I was told, boy, you'll never amount to anything. You're worthless. I'm sorry we ever had you. And my mom would beat me with extension cords, anything she can get her hands on because I looked like my father. She hated him. And I have his same name. I'm Nolly Alexander Williams, Jr. And so for me, and that's a whole nother, we, you know, I, I'm not looking for pity. I'm just telling you my story to overcome that and to rewire my brain and to realize, no, I am worthy. I was born where I came into this realm worthy of love and respect and honor and all the things that God created me with. It, it was a journey to do that. And what books did for me was they helped me escape from the reality, the nightmare that I was living, you know, if that makes sense. So I got deep into books and to this day, I read a book a week. Okay. Every week I read a book and I know there's a lot of people that are not like that. And that's why what I do is I put out two, three, four videos a week on YouTube, sharing with you the information that I've learned. So you don't have to be, <laughs> you don't have to be quite the nerd that I am. Does that make sense? <laughs> That's so good. That's so yeah. good. I love it. Well, we're about out of time. Um, one final opportunity. If anyone has a final burning question. No. Okay. Well, like I said, this is going to be up on the freedom team late this afternoon or in the morning. Um, and then when Nolly sends me that link, I will get that on there as well. And um, just a reminder, we do this every Tuesday. We've get great trainers like Nolly. Nolly, that was fire. So every Tuesday at 10 central time. Um, and, you know, we just appreciate you so much. Um, you just dropped a lot of good nuggets today. And, you know, I agree with you. Listings is where it's at because the listings bring the buyers too, right? That's right. So if That's you're right. just burning to work with a buyer, your listings, listings have bring you the buyers. Listings have babies. That's right. That's right. Listings have babies. I like that better. Yeah, I'm going <laughs> to use that one. <laughs> I like that. Right. Well, thank you so much. Um, again, Nolly, you you were just amazing. Um, and I know a lot of everybody got a lot of value. I mean, all the comments you're seeing in the um in the in the uh, chat box there. Thank you. Thank right. you. God Can bless you. Say something to Mr. No. Yes. Just yeah, Mr. Yeah, Mr. No, thank you for my, so much for 
the presentation that you've made today. You are kind of an inspiration and uh, it makes it a really good thing to hear a fellow brother who is a believer uh, yeah. say the things that you've been saying. And, uh, and yeah. Yeah. Yes. Hey Amen. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Thank you yes. so much. For that. And you know, word. and he's mentioned it a couple of times as he talked today, but I should have prefaced this in the beginning when I introduced him. He goes by Uncle Nolly. So for <laughs> now, everybody, to, when you see him, it's Uncle Nolly. <laughs> So, uh, <laughs> yeah. but, uh, Nolly, thank you're you, amazing. Thank you, thank you so much. Yeah, thank, thank you, you brother. Thank you, Kevin. God man. bless y'all. God bless you. God bless you, buddy. Thank you guys all thank have you. a good day. Thank have you. Have a good day, everybody. Bye.